My name is Esther Norford and I am a crop farmer at Farm Norford & Norford, located at Bellevue Mountains. When I started planting peanuts in 2017, I bought a bag of peanuts. The lady sold me for 300 because she, she was friendly with my mother. And we shell them, we planted like about a uh, little more than a half acre of peanuts. And from there we got, I think it was like 20 something bags of peanuts we got from the, the one bag of peanuts. And then from then it's like twice per year. I plant, we plant peanuts, like one, when one cut a peanut soon to come out, we throw back in the next cut. And then, cousin of mine who was helping me out with the spraying etc. She told me why not try planting something else like onions and carrots. So I had a tractor come in and cut up a big area for me, planted carrots onions and a cut a sweet potato. Three years back we started planting um, Tanya, Dashi and Broido. Some of the areas we in bank we just throw up and leave and then we throw in banana trees and every time we keep rotating with the crops. Um, what, four years back we started with beets. We come to overhaul the entire ground. We feed the dog. Whether we do harvesting or we do planting. And certain time of year we would we have when we, we go and weed. Do hand weeding. Go to we sweet potato pull out the guinea grass, etc. and wild trees. The same when you come to the beets and the peanuts, etc. Tanya and the We get a lot of um, green fig cell, but um, up to all up last year we tried a lot of white bananas where we had a lot. But then you find that the locals asking for, they want the bananas white and yellow like you find in the supermarket. We, uh, our bananas were the same, just that. It's like when the bananas start to ripe, you find that they break off the hands. We could try using chemicals to spray the bananas with the full bananas so that you get the same quality as you get in the supermarket. But at the same time, the chemicals dangerous to us as human beings. So we cut back and supplying a lot of white bananas. Instead, we push for a lot of green bananas that you could cook or you do your salad, etc. Being and, and, and the farm a lot, cut back when it comes to the pigs and we spoke to the cattle farmers, um, they, didn't, they, they, they didn't do anything so what we did is like we put fencing to get rid of the cattle problem. We had a, a lot of monkey problems up to a year or four but then we got dogs and put them along the perimeter. Uh, each of the crops that we have and have dog loose so that cut back on the monkey problem for us for me in particular because we have peanuts and not once a monkey come in and and do anything when, when it comes to the peanuts so <laughs> thank god <laughs> For the night next four or so years, I would like to see my entire farm all the extra wild trees cut down and it's like I have my entire farm, the entire five acre planted up. Hopefully by the grace of God with the help of me you even one <laughs>